Well, hello, this is Kelly and I'm the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video eight in the Gas Venting with Tables series. And this is the final video. We're gonna go through one more example involving chimneys that could possibly condense. And we're gonna talk about what we can do with that. Now, if you have not watched the first three videos in this series and video seven, this one might not make very much sense to you. So you better go watch those first. All code references will be made from the B149 natural gas and propane installation code by CSA of Canada, and I am using the 2015 edition. Well, let's jump right into that example. I've got a 75 MBH draft hood equipped water heater with a single wall vent connector and a five foot lateral, and it is going into a 30 foot chimney. Let's size it. Because I have a single gas appliance with a single wall vent connector going into a chimney, I need to use table C6, but I'll need to start on the second page of it because I have a 30 foot vent height. So I come down to the 30 foot vent height, across on the five foot lateral, and I need to go to NAT DP. Now I have a 75 MBH unit, so five inch is good up to 118 MBH on NAT DP, but it has a very weird symbol beside it. We need to look at that. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of table C6 and we will see a little legend on the bottom left. The symbol says that there is a possibility of continuous condensation. And as discussed in previous videos, condensation in brick chimneys equals bad. Now regardless of this symbol that suggests that there is a possibility of condensation, our vent connector size is still 5 inch. Now this symbol in and of itself does not mean that we can't do this. It's a warning, maybe this will condense, but we definitely need to do a mathematic check like we did in the last video from code clause 8128. Now this mathematic check was to take the input of my appliance, which is 75 MBH, and multiply it by 1.25 or add 25% to it. And that equals 93.75. Now we need to check this against the table value. The table value is 118 MBH. The calculated value was 93.75. Now the calculated value needs to be greater than or equal to the table value. It is not, it is less than the table value. This means that the chimney is too big. This means it will condense like crazy and it means we cannot do this. So what do we do? Do we just pack up and go home? Oh no, we have a solution for this. So what we can do is go and protect the chimney by putting down a corrugated metallic liner. Now this is a double wall aluminum liner that is approved for gas venting. So this liner will protect the chimney from condensation. And also if we look back at GVR C29, where it says we are not allowed to put in a single fan assisted appliance into a brick chimney, if we put in a liner, yes, we can do this now. GVR C211 discusses the use of the metallic liner and all the rules around it. The first thing that it does tell me though, as soon as I put a liner down a brick chimney, it is now going to be treated as a B vent, meaning I'll be using tables C1 through C4 and no longer the chimney tables. Now this also tells us we're gonna to need to derate our table values because of the restrictive nature of a corrugated pipe, but we'll worry about that after we get into the sizing example. So I definitely need to put a liner down this chimney. So now my vent is gonna be classed as a double wall vent but I still have a single wall vent connector, therefore I need to use table C2. So I go down to a vent height of 30 feet, which is on the second page, and I go across on a five foot lateral, and I'm looking for NAT DP. Now I have a 75 MBH unit, so I have to go to four inch, which is good up to 99,000 BTUs or 99 MBH. Now, before I select 4-inch as my final answer, I need to look back at GVR C211 to find out how much I need to derate my table values by in order to accommodate for that liner. What it does tell me is I need to reduce my table values by 20% for the liner itself. Also, I need to reduce for any bends that it makes. Well, I've got a 90 degree bend going in from the C-vent there, so I need to reduce by additional 10%. So I need to derate the table values by 30% or multiply the table value by 0.7. So my table value was 99 MBH and I'm gonna multiply that by 0.7. Well, that equals 69.3 MBH. Well, my unit is 75, that's not quite good enough. So we're gonna up the size by one. 
the size of my vent and vent connector will be 5 inch. Well people, it feels like an eternity but you have now gotten to the end of this video series. You have yourself a great day.